So it's just like a child, like I said, outside. If you've got a child that's afraid of something, you need to not act afraid in order to convince them. That's why when my child, whenever I was terrified of spiders, and her irrational fear, her fear of spiders was rubbing off on my children. And I don't like spiders, but I thought I can't have them being afraid of spiders just because their mum's afraid of spiders. They're picking up what... So I started picking up spiders and look, spiders are fine, you've got nothing to worry about. And it's the same, and you understand that as a mother. Yeah. But with dogs, we don't do it. With dogs, what we do is we sit there and we go, Oh, soft. Oh, no, yeah. it's quiet, baby, mummy's here. The softer you are, mm -hmm. the worse she's going to be. Because when, when, when she's in a very soft state, a weak state, she needs you to be yeah. confident. Yeah. She needs to look around. Like The first thing he did was he actually tried to reassure her. He starts mouthing her, he starts ah, all over the place, right. starts trying to bring her out of the shit. Because he instantly picks up on it. And you see the way he behaves when she's nervous, yeah? So he instantly come over, was all over yeah. her like a rash. Yeah. Whereas us... We're like, it's all right, baby, come here, and we, we baby talk the dog, <clears throat> and... I used to be like that, but I must admit, those classes did tell me, like, you know, show me how to put her when you're crossing a dog, and I said, like, boost, like, leave it, and I'm not as hussy-pussy with no. her like I used to be. But look, I've got one finger on the lead, so I'm not forcing her next to me, the lead's relaxed around her neck, but like I said, she didn't come and see me at all the whole time I was here, so that's why I said go and get a lead and bring her down here. Right, because her natural response is to run away. But running away is dangerous because if she's outside and she runs away and she's in this fear state, she's going to run straight into a road and get run over. If a dog approaches her and she goes into this fearful state, she's going to run away and she's going to become a victim. The dog don't care that she's afraid, right? And if she knows that running away is how she deals when she's afraid, that's going to be her default behaviour. We want her to learn that when she's afraid, she can go through that motion but she's just not allowed to run away. Okay. But you're going to be there to help her yeah. by being confident, by being calm. Because the reality is, the people coming in your house or the people that you're talking to for the best part, you should feel happy about that because you've made the decision to talk to them, you've made the decision to let them in your house. Mm -hmm. So you need to be showing the confidence because you've invited them into your house or you've invited them into your space to talk to them. Okay. So that's what she needs to pick up on. The same. So when we do bring people in the house, you want us to push her on our lead? Yeah, but get the people to completely ignore her. Yeah, okay. Right? I mean, even if they come around two or three times. For the so it's like, if he was in here and they were <coughs> to my husband, like friends well, come around. I haven't acknowledged her at all yet. Yeah, so just put her on the lead and I'll just stand here yeah. and let them talk and let her. She's been on this lead for five minutes, right? Yeah. I haven't acknowledged her once. So if you were sat in there, same again, just sit on the couch or do you want me to stand with her on the lead? No, you can sit on the couch right. with her. Okay. Don't let her. Don't don't let her hide, don't let her run away. Keep her with you, but remind people of the rules. Say, look, my dog's really, really nervous. She wants to run away right now. So if you acknowledge her, if you try and touch her, you're gonna make her go into panic mode. Mm -hmm. So the best thing for her to do is just learn to coexist with us. Yeah. Don't invite a house full of people around and then get yeah. her overwhelmed, but like yeah. one person yeah. at a time. But the Absolutely. best thing they can do, particularly if you know them, let them come around and ignore her. Then the next time they come around, She's going to be more curious because she's going to remember that person ignored me. Yeah. Okay. So, and but also the way you move, you don't want them to move directly towards her. So you yeah. see how I'm moving around in more circles. You see how she gets confused about that. So I want to move around without putting so much pressure on her. So when I said about your boy who's sitting there watching me, he's happy go lucky. So when he jumps up, say, so look, that's perfect. She come over and sniff me. But again, I didn't make a big deal of it. That's when people go, oh, hello. And instantly, exactly. boom, back away, panic. Think, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so you see that as soon as I raise my voice, how she backs up a little bit. So I just make, but look, the way I'm holding my body, I'm very sideways on. Okay, so I want, I'm trying to recall <clears throat> her to feel as least threatened as possible. I just want her 
to not run away. Because I've seen, also I've seen someone like when you, people cut her hand out, a couple of times she's, yeah. Yeah, because again. Because she's fearful. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to touch the dog. She just needs to learn to coexist first of all, yeah. before any pressure is put in on her. Yeah. But she needs you to be confident the way your boy's being confident. He's just leaning on like, yeah, we don't care. Everything's fine. He look, that's good. Just give her a little stroke. Good. Calmly, not, not over the top. Good. Right, because of what you're saying, that's it. Because what you're saying is she chose to sit down. Her mind went from moving backwards to sitting down. That's more of a relaxed way of being. Right, I'm just going to crouch down just a little bit. And I want him to come towards me. There we go. I want to use him as a bit of a bridge. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Because again, <coughs> this is coming out. Very concerned. She's looking, right? But again, I'm not looking at her. The camera's looking at her. I'm not looking at her. I'm looking at you, looking at your dog. But again, it can be a case of monkey see, monkey do. You've got two dogs, so the other dog can actually help. I know he's a bit of a nuisance because he likes to jump up and mouth people. But that happy-go-lucky energy can actually help you in this sense. Look, she's sniffing the floor now, which means the more she, her nose engages, the more common sense she's using, yeah. the less fearful she's becoming, all right? So with me making a fuss of him, she can look and go, actually, he's not bothered. Then she turns and looks at you. You're not bothered. It's only her freaking out. Yeah. And why is she freaking out? Yeah. That's what you've got to look at. Like, honestly, love, what are you afraid of right now? Hey. No. I only need one of us holding the lead. No. Trying to put this on the side for now. Please. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the more she uses it, no. The more she uses the nose, the more she uses common sense. Uh -huh. You can't, can't bite her leg, mate. Come here. <coughs> Come here. Do you mind just holding the phone a second? It's a lot easier to hold the phone. Let's just point. No, other way. Hold it like a camera. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. You need to look at the screen. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically anything that you're pointing at, you should be able to see, so you should be able to see the dogs, everything like that, all right? But going back to what we said, <clears throat> he can be the bridge. So when people come round, once he's calmed down, then you want people to make a fuss of him, right? Because the more she sees people making a fuss of him, the more, no, the more she can go, hang on a second, this one's having all of the fun. And then, look, look she's coming closer and closer. Her brain's becoming kicking. That's look, she's just sniffing me there. See that? Mm -hmm. And all we did was block her running away. I didn't put any. And look, she's here, but now I'm playing sort of hard to get. Just because you're here, I'm not fussing you. Okay? But look, she's proper, proper sniffing, sniffing me. Now. Now. Yeah. Look, the legs relax, I'm not forcing her here. Because again, use the other one as a bridge. So I know obviously this one's on you at the minute and you're finding life really stressful. But like start to look at the good in it. This one can actually help you because the more people that fuss this one, the more she's going to go, hey, I want some of that. Ah. And then what you do is you don't give her some of that, so she really wants some of that. You play hard to get, yeah. but it's all in the best interest. So only on our terms, though. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Before... Just cause she's, because, again, just because she's come over to us, Yeah. As soon as I start going, hello, how are you doing? Like with this one, she's going to be... Because she was here first, she should be... <laughs> she's being needy now, yes. look. You see how they let go of the fear. But if we let her run away, you see how she can't let go of that fear. Now I'm stroking her. Mm -hmm. But head yeah. up, proud. Right? You see how dogs let go of that fear. Yeah. Oh. If we ignore them, treat them with respect, and just block the fear. She's not... Hey, She's not allowed to run away. You go from zero to a hundred, mate. 
in a second. But he's helping, he's the bridge. Wow. She likes him, she feels comfortable with him. Use him. Now, you, like I was just saying about that, because sometimes we feel as though she kind of tolerates him. Because yeah, but she's also very comfortable with him. Ah, yeah, because the first day we met him... What you've got to look at is the big picture, right? Yes. You're nervous, yeah. your husband feels sorry for her and gets very soft. Yeah. That's two weak energies. Yes. He is the only one that has a positive yeah. energy. Because like, and sometimes that's what she follows. We thought she just tolerated him because like, she'd go upstairs, and he'd go yeah. upstairs, uh, upstairs, he'd come up, and then sometimes she comes down, and like Sam was on the couch. She's quite happy for him to lay with her, mm -hmm. But when he comes like um, to sit with her sometimes, she'll get up and move away. And I just think, <coughs> whereas my boys, she used to follow them quite a lot and cuddle up with them. So I didn't know that it's because he was <laughs> new or... Plus he's got testicles, she can always like the testicles. But it's a true story. Women like testicles, what can I say? <laughs> Don't put that on to me. <laughs> <laughs> but right, when she gets nervous, right, she's likely to get nervous now because I've got to get up, right? I'm going to get up, moving backwards, not forwards. Right, and also the way I'm going to approach, because obviously I can't just stay away from her forever, I have to be able to move around. But you see, I'm going to come over here. Oh, look, she's sniffing me. Mm -hmm. That's better, because the first time I moved towards her, she ran away. This time I'm moving. But look how I'm moving. I'm trying to move as least friendly. That's all right, no, carry on. <laughs> well, because oh, I'll get my phone back out, because obviously it died. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, and of course, I have to take re uh, my phone charging yeah. more important than recording right now, because obviously I won't be able to get home. I'm quite far from home. <laughs> so I need my phone to charge. But while well, I've got the camera out, and you know, she just disappeared, it's because she actively What's that noise? She, she came with a name. Yeah, it's because she, she, look, she actively come in by herself and just come over and sniffed me and was trading on my phone. That, that's why I quickly got my phone out. But she's no, she's no longer on a lead and she's a lot more relaxed. Break it down here she comes. Because we blocked the fear, curiosity started to come back in. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look, she's over here. I've got the pair of them I'm trying to get her in the camera. She's still very nervous, <clears throat> right? But nerves don't go away overnight. Yeah. You have to teach her how to deal with it. Yeah. But she's pushing herself against my hand. That's the reason why I've Have you seen your dog right now? <laughs> got the pair of them. And of course, but that's what I want. <clears throat> I want her to be able to walk away and chill out by herself. I don't want her to run away. I want her to be able to come back in. So when you see her relax, like you did, then you can drop the lead. Yeah. But you just want her out of that flight mode. Yeah. And then you can just let her go back. I say nice and chilled out. And you see how nervous dogs move on really quickly because as soon as somebody comes in and says, look, stop being silly, that's what they want. Mm. But the problem with nervous dogs is it's the owners are so worried yeah. that about their dog that they start to feel very soft and feel sorry for them and you're freaking out when the dog freaks out. So you see the difference. So it's just like a child, like I said outside. If you've got a child that's afraid of something, you need to not act afraid in order to convince them. That's why when my child when I've half terrified of spiders and her irrational fear her fear of spiders was rubbing off on my children. And I don't like spiders. But I thought, I can't have them being afraid of spiders just because their mum's afraid of spiders. They're picking up what... So I started picking up spiders and saying, look, spiders are fine. You've got nothing to worry about. And it's the same... And you understand that as a mother. Yeah. But with dogs, we don't do it. With dogs, what we do is we sit there and we go... All soft. Oh, no, yeah. it's fine, baby. Mummy's here. You can't, tell a you can't tell a dog to relax. But what you can do is show them through your intentions. Mm -hmm. Look, I see you're scared. I see you're nervous. That reactive outbreak, that was fear. Mm. But when you get fearful, when you get nervous, I'm not going to change. I'm going to be as confident yeah. and as relaxed as you need me to be so you can just come out there. Look, I don't even care that you're on my shoulders right oh, now. Oh, well, we don't do tongues on the first night. Is she not? <laughs> I still...